Hello students, today we are going to see uh, another part of server storage services. The lab which we are going to see today is creating the shadow copies. Now when we talk about the shadow copies, shadow copy is nothing but you are creating a restore point of your volume. So whatever the volumes you are using, the volume shadow copies can be created and we can revert back to that shadow copies which we have generated. So first we will go to the option of creating the shadow copies. We will see how to create a shadow copy. We will also see the effect when we revert back to the shadow copy what actually happens. So here first we will go to the option of our PC where we can see different drives which are available. Now we will right click on the volume which is there where we want to implement the shadow copies. Right click the volume click on properties once you open the properties you can see one option which is there that is shadow copies so click on this option of shadow copies you can see that or this option is disabled over here and if you want to enable it they have given one button called as enable so if you want to enable the shadow copies for this drive or this volume just click on this enable button once you click on this enable button it will ask you that do you want to enable this shadow copy I will say yes once I click yes immediately it creates a shadow copy of that volume so it is created at this particular time on this date if I want to again create a shadow copy I can create it now so what I will do I will just click on ok I will go to this drive what I will do I will create some folder so I will create a folder before shadow. So I have created one folder. I will go back. So your volume consists of one folder now. I will go to the properties option. I will go to the shadow copies. This what are the old shadow copies there. I will delete this shadow copy now. And I will create a new shadow copy by clicking on this option create now. So if I click this option now a shadow copy of your volume is created. You can see the date and time at which this shadow copy was created. And now I will click OK. So now we have taken the shadow copy of this volume which consists of one folder named as before shadow. So what I will do now I will create another folder in the same volume. And the name will be given as after shadow. So now I have given another name, uh, created one folder, extra folder, and the folder name is after shadow. Now, what actually we want to see that if I revert back to the shadow copy what we have created, what, what should happen is this folder which we have created now, that is after shadow folder which is created, will be deleted from this volume. So whatever you have modified after creating a shadow, co shadow copy, so once you revert back to that shadow copy, everything from that point till today's point, whatever the modifications are done on volume, everything will be removed from that volume. So what we will do, we will just see now what actually happens. So I will right click the drive. I will go to the properties option again. Click on shadow copies. And what I will do, I will select the shadow copy which I have created and you can see one button called as a revert. So I want to revert to this shadow copy. So I will say revert. It will say if you want to revert to this volume. So check if you want to revert this volume, I will check it and I will say revert now. So once you click this option, now the volume shadow copy is reverted back means we have reverted back to the same condition. Just check if you double click the drive now you can see only one folder inside that volume that is before shadow and you cannot see the folder which we have created after creating the shadow copy that was after shadow. So this is the use of shadow that is volume shadow how we can create it how we can revert back to the shadow copy what, what actually we have created. So this was all about creating the shadow copies and Thanks, thank, thank all of you for watching this video. So in next video we will discuss something different.